Coming to you live from Erie, Pennsylvania for outdoor football between the Erie Express, who are 9-1, and South Buffalo Celtics, who are undefeated at 7-0. Get ready for the start of the game. Uh, looks like point toss out there going on. already huddling in the middle of the field. Get ready for the uh, national anthem, I believe. Pretty cool. They let the kids out at the 50 yard line for the national anthem. Once again, all kids in the stands run to the 50 yard line for the national anthem.
time for some football. We'd like to thank all of our veterans out there for showing up to the game. And if you aren't here, we'd like to thank you anyway. Looks like Buffalo will be kicking off the Erie to start the game. Kicking and flip flops. Can't tell. It looks like flip flops from up here. Deep kick in the end zone for a touchback. Kick goes out of the end zone. That'll be first and ten from the 20 yard line for the Express. So here, Express starts at the 20 yard line. First and ten. First play is a run to the middle. Still pushing, the line's still pushing him forward. Looked like he was stopped for a progressive of two yards. Ends up with about 15 yards. The line pushed him an extra 12 yards down the field. First and 10 at the 34 yard line. Here he steps up on the ball, two tailbacks and one behind the quarterback, so a three running back set. Back to pass, high ball. Just out of fingertips of number three, DJ Barney. Second down and ten. I do believe this year Erie has the top passing quarterback for the season out of the whole league. One receiver to the right, three tailbacks. Hand off. Right side sweep. Gain of about seven yards. Brings up third and three. Brings about seven on the play, brings up third down. Running back Alex Jones with seven yards. One receiver to the left side. Three tailgater, tail gunners, sorry.
Handoff straight up the middle, enough for the first down. Picks up about five yards. Carries it across the line for a first down. First and down. 10 at the 46 yard line. Closer to the 47. One receiver to the left side. Quarterback surrounded by running backs. Another handoff straight up the middle. Pickup of about four yards. Allen Jones with four yard pickup. Second down and six, middle of the field. One right receiver to the right. Handoffs, sweep to the right. No gain, maybe loss of a yard. Jones with the carry. Loss of about a yard. Brings up third and five, six yards. One receiver to the left side, short side. <laughs> Quarterback surrounded by running backs, three of them. Big third down play for Erie. Back to pass, wobbly pass, a little short for the intended receiver. Brings up fourth down. Punting team comes onto the field. Snap, I punt to the left side, bounces at the 22, keeps bouncing, picked up, and immediately hit by Aries number 58, Demetrius Stevenson, at the 20 and a half yard line of Russell. 10.46 left to go in the first quarter, score is 0-0. Zero this is Buffalo's first possession. Buffalo comes out with a four wide receiver set, two on the left, two on the right. One tail back to the right side of the quarterback. Back to pass. Low pass, caught. At the 35 yard line, enough for the first down. Pass is caught. Game of about 12. That brings up a first down. Pickup of about 12 yards. Another four wide receiver set, two on the right, two on the left. Running back to the left side of the quarterback. Hand off to the running back, hit in the backfield and dropped for a loss of about three, four yards. Four yards, four yard loss. Handoff on the play, stopped immediately by number 94. Richard we'll call it second Hunter. and 13. Lots of three on the play, brings up second down. Second 
Two receivers set. I know. Trips to the right, one to the left. Quarterback back to pass. Flushed in the pocket. He's running with the ball. Gets hit. And picks up about five yards, which brings up third and nine. Third and eight. You gotta bring up third down. Big third down play for Buffalo. Got trip receivers to the left, single receiver to the right. Looks like they drew Erie offsides. Flag on the play. Discussion among the refs. Waiting on the call. No penalty? Uh, discussion with the Buffalo team. First, they were going to pick up the ball and move it five yards, but now it's uh, at the original point. Still, fourth down and eight yards. So apparently, they picked up the flag. No idea on that call. Trip receiver still left, single receiver to the right, single tailback to the left, to the right of the quarterback. Pass, low, skips it to the receiver, brings up fourth down. 7.46 left to go in the first quarter. Quarterback staying out there, so waiting on the call. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Unless they pooch punt it. Two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. They're going for it on fourth down at their own 38-yard line. Back to pass. Quarterback steps up and deflected. Erie takes over in Buffalo territory at their 38-yard line. Pass falls incomplete. Coverage by number 22. Almost looked like the quarterback stepped over the line of scrimmage, too. Seven forty left to go in the first quarter. Here he comes out with the spread offense. Three receivers to the right. Two receivers to the left. Nobody in the backfield with the quarterback. Pass play. Straight across to number 28. And picks up about seven yards. To the 39 yard line. Gain of about seven on the play brings up second down. Now I don't understand why they started at the 46 yard line when they were at the 38. They put the ball down where he skipped the ball. That, that makes no sense. So second down and three yards at the 39 yard line of Buffalo. What, 
The wide receiver goes in motion, gets the handoff. Running sweep to the left. And picks up two yards. Brings up third down and one. Things that make you go, hmm. Unless they count that pass as a punt of uh, uh, eight yards. <laughs> that makes no sense. I'm talking to the camera guys who aren't mic'd up. <laughs> Third down and one, two receivers to the right, three receivers to the left. Wide receiver comes back in the tailback position. And a handoff. And hit immediately, but still going. Picks up enough for the first down and a bit more. Another good push. Game about six on the play. That brings up another first down. Game about six to the 31 yard line of Buffalo. First down. Number 28 is Allen Jones. It's been uh, basically the running back for Erie so far. Trip receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. Quarterback by, by his lonesome. Back to pass. Quick pass. Caught. Fingertip grab at the 30-yard line. Receiver still on his feet. Stretches out. Picks up seven on the play. Eight on the play. Seven on the play. To the 25-yard line, second down and three yards. Excuse me, the 23-yard line. Two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. Running back to the left side of the quarterback. Here he's knocking on the doorsteps. Sweep to 28, left side, breaks the tackle. Stiff arms the next guy, has enough for the first down and much more. Hits the Jones and he rips off another. To the 14 yard line, first and 10. Two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. Single tailback to the left side of the quarterback. Back to pass. High floater to the end zone. They, they both get tangled up. No call. Looks like Erie tripped up to DB. No call. Second down and 10. 3.46 left to go in the first quarter. Formation, two and two, single tailback to the right side of the quarterback. Back to pass, straight across the line. And touchdown, Erie, number 18, Terry Jackson. Number 18, Terry Jackson, takes it to the house. Touchdown! Ozzie Bean to Terry Jackson. 14 yard touchdown pass. Pass and catch. So Erie strikes first with 3.41 left to go in the first quarter, pending this extra point attempt. Oh, flag on the play. It looks like the uh, player didn't get off the field in time. False start, Erie. 
Back him up five yards for the extra point attempt. Penalty is against the Express. We'll retry the extra point. Kind of tough to judge the wind here in the little valley that we're in. Looks like it's a head on wind from the north side. They're kicking east to west. Kick is up and no good. So with 3.41 left to go in the first quarter, Air Express 6, Buffalo Celtics nothing. Kicking will go wide left on the upright with 3 minutes and 41 seconds remaining in the first quarter. That brings our score, your Erie Express 6. This is Buffalo Celtics 2. Kicking into the wind for this kickoff. Kicker Noah Ackerman set. And a pooch punt down the middle hits about the 25 yard line. Touched by Celtic player. Grab picked up. Has a little running room. Gets out to about the 35 yard line. Probably about a 12-yard scamper. Go defense. So Buffalo's going to take over at the 36 of Buffalo. First and 10. 3.33 left to go in the first quarter. Erie 6, Buffalo nothing. That double receivers to the left, double receivers to the right. Tail back to the left. Quarterback hands off to the tailback. Running room up the middle. Pick up of nine yards on the first down play. To the 45 yard line. Uh, 44 yard line. Second down and two. They lost it. They spotted the ball a yard short. Two and two receivers. Running back right behind the quarterback. And a handoff to the running back straight up the middle. Hit at the line, but it's going to be close. They're going to give him the first down. Down by number one, we gave him the two yards, so first and ten at the 47 yard line. Trip receivers to the right, single receiver to the left, tailback to the left side of the quarterback. High snap, pass, caught, and immediately hit by number 21, D. Wood, Juan Woodard. Completed, dropped immediately by number Pick up of four yards. Woodard. Three and a half yards. Four yards. Second down after a gain of three. Giving them three yards, three and a half yards. Second down, and we'll call it five and a half. Two receivers to the right, single receiver to the left. Two tailbacks. High snap again. Give it to the small running back. Has some running room. And 
clothesline. A yard short of the first down. Brings up third and one. In Erie territory at the 44. Minute left in the first quarter. <laughs> the yard marker says a yard short, and they put the ball right at the first down marker. See that? <laughs> so basically, you could just uh, lean over and have the first down. Two receivers to the right, one to the left, two tailbacks, high snap, back to pass, pump fake. Deep pass, caught by number four, deep in the Erie Territory. Pass is complete, brought down. First down 13, at the 17 yard the line, depending where the ball open. gets spotted by the ref. <laughs> Okay, we'll call it the 17-yard line. First, first and ten. And that's the end of the first quarter. That brings a close to the Buffalo first threatening, quarter. but the score. The Erie Express six. Buffalo Celtics nothing. They should bring us up a cooler of water. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to get warm. Nice hot one here in Erie. Wind picking up a little bit from the west. Blowing east. <laughs> That was a nice pump thing. down and two as the train nears the end. Looks like we got uh, two receivers to the left, single receiver to the right. Tail back on each side of the quarterback, and the whistle is blown. 
Timeout, Timeout Buffalo. 13-17 left to go in the half. Erie 6, Buffalo 0. But Buffalo's knocking on the door. Two receivers to the left, single receiver to the right, tailbacks on each side of the quarterback. Third down and two. High snap, quarterback keeper to the rolls to the left side, gonna pass, and the quarterback gets, oh, releases the ball just as he was going out of bounds, so we're waiting on the call there. Looks like they're going to give him the pass. Going to have to wait and see here. Well, he, he got rid of the ball before he went out of bounds and a pickup of about one yard. So it brings down fourth and one from the 10 yard line. Two receivers to the left, single receiver to the right, tailback on each side of the quarterback. Quarterback keeper up the middle, and it's going to be close. Too many bodies in there, official timeout. Depends where they spot the ball on this one. And they're going to bring in the chains of measure. It's going to be close. Looks like it's short. Erie takes over. That's a big stop right there. Erie takes over at the uh, seven and a half yard line. Missed it by like three chain lengths. Twelve forty-six left to go in the half. Erie six, Buffalo zero. Two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. Receiver in motion, you got trips to the left. And a handoff to the running back. Hip on the line, but picks up maybe a, a yard. Jones with the carry. Gain of about a yard on the play, brings up second down. I'm gonna give him two on a play, so second down and eight. Two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. Tailback to the left side of the quarterback. Back to pass, quick pass down the line to the receiver. Caught, still on his feet, and 
tossed out of bounds and a flag on the play for a late hit. Wide receiver was well out of bounds, getting dropped by two of the Buffalo guys. The original pickup was enough for a first down, but we're going to add a personal foul. 15 yards to the play. So here he's going to get the ball at the 36 yard line of Erie. This will be on two. Is it Bill Buffalo has two timeouts? Yeah. Is that one? So that was a huge play for Erie right there. First and ten. Two receivers to the right, two left. Single tailback to the right of quarterback. Toss to the running back. And he's got room and still on his feet. Pickup of about 16 yards into Buffalo territory at the 49 yard line. Eleven twenty-two and counting left to go in a half. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Tailback to the left side of the quarterback. Ball snap, back to pass. Line drive almost intercepted by number two, Jermaine Clemens. It falls incomplete, so brings up second down and 10 from the 49. Two and two on the receiver set. Running back to the right side of the quarterback. Receiver goes into motion from the left side. Gets the handoff behind the quarterback. Has running room. Has a streak down the sidelines. Stiff arms and pushed out of bounds. But not before he picked up about uh, 16 yards. First and 10 at the 34 yard line of Buffalo. Gain on the play, referee's up another first down. Sorry. Sorry. Two receivers to the right, one to the left, or two to the left. Tailback to the left side of the quarterback, back to pass, quick pass down the line, fingertip grab, and stretches for a pickup of about. Uh, <laughs> That's number 18, Terry Jackson. Both judges on both sides of the uh, field are in different spots. You gotta give them four yards. The far judge gave him two yards. So we're gonna say four yards. <laughs> Going to be uh, second and five and a half, six yards. Two and two receivers running back to the right side of the quarterback. Handoff straight up the middle, goes in slow. Mealy gets hit by the line. Pick up of uh, one yard. Third down and four. And a half. <laughs> and 
And you got a stoppage for a minute. No why. The time on the clock's wrong. So they put another 10 seconds back on the clock. So 8.56 left to go in the half. Two and two receivers running back to the right of the quarterback. Third down and four and a half. Low snap, toss to the running back, breaks one tackle, and picks up maybe two yards. Kicks the victory. No gain on the play. Bring or the play no down. gain. <laughs> we'll call it no gain, even though it was two yards further downfield. <laughs> So that makes up for the line judge on the previous play that was two yards down. And yeah, I, 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 I can't figure it out either. And here he's going to go for it on fourth down at the 28 and a half yard line. Two and two receivers. Now you got trip receivers to the left. Ball snap back to pass. Has time. Throws high. And out of the fingertips of Tony Albaro. Incomplete. Be so Buffalo tackle. takes over with 7.54 left to go in half. Erie's still up 6 nothing. I'd like to thank the guys from uh, Western New York Media.net, WNY Media.net, for broadcasting today's game and the Erie Express for bringing me out of retirement to do color by color. So Buffalo takes over at their own 28-yard line. Two and two receivers. Running back to the left of the quarterback. Hands off to the running back. Has a little running room. Not much. Pickup of about four yards. You got to give him five. <laughs> Second down and five. I don't know, the yard marker's off, yeah. It was four, I was right. <laughs> Second down and six, two and two receivers. Running back to the left side. Back to pass, quick pass, caught by the receiver. And it's gonna be close to the first down. They're gonna give it to him according to this judge on this side. So first and ten at the 39 yard line of Buffalo. 38 and a half yard line. Two and two receivers running back to the uh, left side of the quarterback. High snap, hands off to running back. Running back has some room. Picks up a good five yards. To the 44 yard line. Run on the play, tackle made by number six, Tony Dalbora. Second down and six. Second down and five. Two and two receivers, same setup. Fake handoff, back to pass. Quarterback scrambling, deep ball down the middle. Intercepted by Erie, number 22. Stiff arms the one intended receiver, still on his feet, down the sidelines, almost back to the original line of scrimmage. Daryl Fincher with the interception. 
quarterback threw into three DB set. So it's Erie's ball at Buffalo's 35 yard line. That's how you make a play, boys. Just like that, Erie's knocking on the doorstep. Two and two receivers running back to the left side of the quarterback. Receiver in motion to the left side. We got trips on the left side. Back to pass. Deep ball down the middle and over the outstretched hands of number three, Sean Drzwicki. Incomplete. For number three, DJ Brings Barney. up second and ten. 526 left to go in the half. Erie six. Buffalo nothing. Coach Fomar is disappointed on that pass. Two and two receivers running back to the left side. Hand off to number 28, gets sweeping to the right side, picks up some positive yardage. Maybe about eight yards on the play. Carries about eight yards. That'll bring up third down. Looked like eight yards, and the marker's at three. So we're going to call it. Uh, Third and three from the down marker, even though it was a eight yard pickup. <laughs> Crazy. Two and two for the receivers, running back to the left side. Back to pass, quick pass down the line to number 18. Has a little running room. Looks like he's got enough for the first down. According to this line judge, we'll wait and see. <laughs> That's what we're allowed to do now. We'll wait and see, depending on which ref we look at. It's going to be first down at the 24-yard line of Buffalo. Two and two receivers running back to the left side of the quarterback. Low snap, back to pass, deep ball down the corner, and the wide receiver wasn't even looking or looked back into the sun. Either way, it falls incomplete in the end zone. That'll bring up second down. Second down at 10. Has it ever flown on you, No, no, you're good. Remember, fans, the concession stand will be open for the duration of the game. Get all your food and drink needs at the concession We need stand. drink needs. <laughs> and this formation is going to be trip receivers to the right, single receiver to the left tailback to the right side of the quarterback and whistle on the play I don't think they were set when he went in motion looks like Geary's going to be backing up I'm going to say it's going to be a false start oh delay game so that backs him up to the 29 yard line going to be second down and 15 Trip receivers to the right, single receiver to the left, tailback on the right side, wide receiver in the motion, double double. Back to pass, quarterback scrambles to the right, deep ball down the right side, and two defenders falls incomplete. Looks like uh, too high for the wide receiver to go on the right side.
Brings up third and long. Two receivers left, two receivers to the right. Single tailback to the right of the quarterback. Wide receiver in motion, trips to the right. Quarterback scrambles back, is in trouble and gets sacked. Loss of about seven yards. Fourth and long. And I think Buffalo might have took a timeout. Buffalo takes their second charge timeout. 3.32 left to go in the half. Erie six. Buffalo nothing. You're listening to WNYmedia.net. Gonna be fourth and 21. Punter on the field. Ball snapped, runs to the side, kicks towards the left sideline, and it's out of bounds in the air, so. They're going to keep walking, walking, walking. They're going to mark it off at the 16-yard line of Buffalo, where Buffalo takes over with 3.26 left to go in the half. I love them kicks that go out of bounds like that where they look, yeah, I think in the air it was like this, like there's some kind of geometry major or something. Yeah, this looks about right. That's totally up to it. <laughs> yeah, we'll call it here. <laughs> Meanwhile, on that side of the field, the guys already got it marked down as a first down. <laughs> two and two receivers running back to the right side of the quarterback. Hand off to the running back, has running room up the middle. Stretches. Pick up of about seven yards, brings up second and three. At the 23 yard line. 257. Left to go. Trip receivers to the right, single to their left. Running back on the left side of the quarterback. Back to pass. And wobbly pass picked off by Erie at the 38 yard line. Still on his feet, breaking tackles. And flag on the play. But Erie's inside the 20 yard line. With the second pick of the game. Wait and see what this uh, flag is. Looks like Erie's got the ball right now at the 19 yard line of Buffalo, 18 and a half yard line. We're waiting for the discussion with the refs. Hands to the face. Erie. Personal foul. Personal foul. Block in the back. No, it was a block in the back. <laughs> Apparently the announcer is not listening to our webcast. It's a block in the back. So Erie takes over at the 28 and a half yard line. First and 10, 231 left to go in half. 
Two picks on the day for the Buffalo Celtics. That was a wobbly pass. It looked like he got hit in the arm as he threw the ball. Single receiver to the left. A whole bunch of running backs around the quarterback. And we'll hand off to the middle hand. And he's met by the line. Loss of two yards on the place. Whoa. Loss of two yards over here, loss of four across the field. We'll see what's going on. <laughs> Look where the line marker is, four yards back. This guy is at the 30. So we're back to two yard loss like you originally thought. That's a two minute warning. Two minute warning. Erie six. Buffalo nothing. I don't think the refs are on the same page over there. They're not watching the same game. He's he's marking them off at their feet and he's marking them off at the ball over here. That's that's what my, my guess is. So we're at the two minute warning on a webcast brought to you by WNYmedia.net from Buffalo. And I'm your hometown guy, Joe Blue, back on the airwaves. Your Express bought me out of retirement. I used to do the indoor football games. And these guys got their stuff together here uh, with the webcasting live on YouTube. I believe this is the final regular season game for Erie. Not sure on Buffalo. I think uh, because this, the records are so much different, I believe Buffalo had a couple uh, canceled games or disqualified or forfeited games won. Back to pass, Erie. Guy was open in the end zone and defensive back number eight. Jay Truman deflected the ball at the last second. Brings up third down and 12. Two receivers to the right, no trips to the right, single receiver to the left, tailback to the left side of the quarterback. Third and a long 12. Wide receiver goes in motion, two and two. Back to pass, quick pass, almost intercepted by number two, Jermaine Clemone. Brings up fourth and 12. See what Erie has to do here with a minute 51 left to go in half. Looks like the punting team may be coming out again. So Erie got a short punt field here. Watch for representatives and get your 50 50 tickets and win today. Timeout, Erie. Timeout on the field. Go for it. Go for it. Minute 51, Erie 6, Buffalo Celtics 0. In this beautiful day in Erie. About 150 people in attendance at least on a warm sunny day on a Saturday first day of August oh we're gonna have a field goal attempt so this is gonna be 41 yard temp ball is up and good 41-yard field goal through the uprights 
which makes the score at Erie Express 9, Buffalo Celtics 0. Minute 47 left to go in the half. 47 seconds remaining in the first half of this contest. That brings your score. The Erie Express 9. This time Buffalo Celtics. Nice 41 yard field goal. So Erie set to kick off with the wind at their backs. Wind going west to east. Kick off at the 35 yard line of Erie. High kick down the middle, all the way to the end zone and out of bounds, touchback. Buffalo will take over at their own 20 yard line with a minute 47. And another train is coming from Buffalo, going to Ohio. See the back of that engine right there? That's what I make at GE. The whole back end radiator. Two and two receivers running back directly behind the quarterback. Hand off to the running back straight up the middle. And a gain of about maybe three, four yards. At the 25 and a half yard line, brings up second down and five, four and a half. Two and two receivers hurry up uh, up to the line. Same setup. Gonna hand off, same play. Met at the line. No game. It's gonna bring up third down. Closing down on a minute nine, eight. No gain on the play, brings up third down. Minute left to go in the half. Third down and four and a half. Now they're taking their time. They don't want to give Erie the ball back. Looks like they're content in running the clock down. Trip receivers to the right, single receiver to the left, running back to the left side of the quarterback. 35 seconds left to go in half. Trying to draw them off sides. Hand off to the running back, has a little room. Enough for the first down. First and 10 at the 33 yard line. Not enough time though. 12 seconds. Trip receivers to the right, single to the left. Back to pass. Pump fakes to the left, then throws to the left. And caught and dropped with three seconds to go. In the half. This should be the final play of the half. Should be second down. The marker says first down. And the marker now says second down. <laughs> second down to 10, three seconds. And it looked like they're just gonna kneel on the ball, I'm guessing. Yeah, he's letting them know they're kneeling. <laughs> That was nice to the ref. Hey, he's going to kneel down. Don't come running hard. <laughs> so that's the end of half. Erie Express 9. South Buffalo Celtics nothing. You're listening to WNYmedia.net. Uh, we shall return after halftime. Thank you for listening and watching. We'll be back.
Shit. Are we live again? Can you hear yourself? Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, we're back for the second half. Erie Express versus South Buffalo Celtics. Nine to nothing. Erie leads. We're ready for a kickoff. Erie kicks off to Buffalo, into the wind. Low line drive, bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Picked up about 22 yard line. And spins one tackle, goes backwards and gets nailed. What looked like a good pickup of about eight yards ended up with a net of about minus one yard at the 21 yard line of Buffalo. First down and ten, third quarter. Two receivers to the right, two to the left, running back to the left side of the quarterback. High snap, hand off the running back, straight up the middle. Some running room still on his feet. Looks like a pickup of about eight or nine yards. Brought down after a nine yard gain. Brings him second down. Second down and one. At the 31 yard line. Was a flag on the play, but the flag was picked up. Now the ref picks up the ball. I don't know what's going on. They're moving the ball to the left side of the field. Second down and one. Spread the uh, offense. Two and two. Tailback behind the uh, quarterback. Handoff straight up the middle, enough for the first down. Pick up of about fumble. One on the play, brought down after game three. That's enough for another first down for the Celtics. They're going to call him down by contact. Enough for the first down. At the 35 yard line of Buffalo, first and 10. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. Single running back behind the quarterback, about five yards. Back to pass down the line. The receiver wasn't looking, it was behind the field. So it could have been a fumble. Second down and 10. That could have been considered a lateral if he wanted to pick that up. Two and two with the receivers running back. 
slightly to the left of the quarterback behind him. And a handoff, and immediately inside and gang tackled for a loss of probably four. Third down and 14, 13, 14. We'll call it 13. Trip receivers to the left, single receiver to the right. Tailback to the left side of the quarterback. Back to pass, has time, throws a line drive to receiver number four. Evades one tackle and tackled at the 40 yard line. Receiver Tony Johnson. That brings up fourth down. Fourth down and five. Gain of about nine yards on that passing play. It looks like Buffalo is going to go for it in their territory. Fourth and five. Going to have trip receivers to the right, single receiver to the left. Running back to the right side of the quarterback. Bunch formation to the right. Quarterback sweeps to the right, passes high, tipped by Erie defender, batted away. Erie takes over at the Buffalo 40. First down, 11.53 left to go in the third quarter. Erie nine, Buffalo Celtics nothing. Here he comes out with its own spread offense, two and two. Running back slightly to the left, right next to the quarterback. Receiver in motion, got trips to the right now. High snap, hands off to the running back, immediately met by the line for a loss. We're going to give him forward progress back to the original line of scrimmage. Maybe a half yard short, yard short. Loss of one, second down on 11. Two and two for the wide receivers, running back, same formation, slightly to the left of the quarterback. Low snap, runs into the running back, but still gets the handoff. Running room down the middle of the field. Picks up about 14 yards, enough for the first down. Down to the 27 yard line of Buffalo. The running back ran into the quarterback on that play as he was gonna give him the ball and it stutter stepped and still ended up with a big gaping hole down the middle. First and 10, two and two wide receivers on each side, same formation, running back right next to the quarterback. Back to pass, scrambles and tipped by the lineman number 47, who is not on my list. <laughs> We'll just call him big guy from Buffalo came in with a swat. <laughs> two receivers to the right, two to the left. Running back to the left of the quarterback. Second down and 10. 
Hands off the running back. Uh, in the middle of a bunch. No whistle yet. And they're calling for they're calling for medics. They're immediately calling for medics. Now they're saying never mind. <laughs> I don't understand it. He gains about one yard, and everybody from both teams is calling for medics, and then everybody gets up, and they're like, oh, never mind, he's okay. Weird scenario there. Third, third and nine for Erie. And we're going to get a whistle. Not sure if somebody called a timeout or anything. We're going to see what's going on. The refs are in discussion about something. Maybe about uh, when Seinfeld's on TV or something. I don't know. Still no clue what's going on down there. Now they set the ball and you're gonna have two receivers to the left, two to the right. Running back right next to on the right side of the quarterback, third and nine. Back to pass and tipped at the line of scrimmage by number 56, Sean Murren. Brings up fourth down. Looks like uh, the offense is going to stay out there, maybe. Yep, the quarterback's going back into the huddle. <laughs> it's going to be fourth down and nine. 9.34 left to go in the third quarter. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. Running back right next to the quarterback on the right side. Definitely a passing play here. Back to pass. Deep ball on the right side. And one arm catch. Touchdown, Erie. Number 18, Terry Jackson. Caught it on the side. One arm. Touchdown. Now we're going to break away for our Mexican sponsors. Hola. No mas gabron. Go. And we're back. Uh, looks like they're going to go for two. No, extra point attempt. Ball's down, kick is up, and good. So that makes it Erie Express 16, Buffalo South, Buffalo Celtics 0, with 9.28 left to go in the third quarter. That was a huge fourth down play, it ends up being a touchdown. Here he's set to kick off into the wind again. Wind coming into their face from west to east. Ball's getting placed at the 35 yard line.
High kick down the middle. Caught it about the 11-yard line. Past the 20, 25. And met at the 27-yard line and dropped by number 24, Antonio Batista. Batista, isn't that a wrestler? So Buffalo takes over at their own 28-yard line. About a 17-yard run back on that kickoff. Wind picking up here as the sun starts to go down. Hand off, straight up the middle. Quarterback keeper on the play, game about seven. Right down Pick up about Andrew. seven yards, brings up second and three. Trip receivers to the left, single receiver to the right. And running back right up the middle, enough for the first down. And more. Running play, game of about seven. That's another first down. Perfect. At about the 42 yard line of Buffalo. Trip receivers, bunch formation to the right, single receiver to the left. Running back straight behind, handoff to the running back, straight up the middle, big guy rumbling, stumbling, smacks over a player enough for a first down, pick up of about 12 yards into Erie territory. That's another first down for the Celtics, the initial hit made by Aiden Zero. Two and two on the receivers. And the refs blow whistle. Timeout, Erie. First charge timeout of the half. Your score is 16 to nothing in Erie's favor with 7.30 left to go in the third. You're listening to WNYmedia.net. I'm your color coordinator, Joe Blue. Downtown Herman Brown running out water to the refs. Gonna have two receivers to the left, to the right. Running back to the right side of the quarterback. First and 10 at the 46 yard line of Erie. High snap, quarterback keeper. And he hits like five people still on his feet. Still on his feet. All for a gain of four yards. Then you got a scuffle. Little fight going on down there. Gonna give him four yards on the play. Didn't I just say that? <laughs> 
so the PA announcer just said the same thing I said like a minute ago. Second down at six. Two receivers to the right, two to, uh, one to the left. Big running back to the right of the quarterback, small running back behind him. Receiver in motion going left, right to left. High snap, hands to the small running back. Hit by the line, still on his feet, down the sidelines. Fumble, picked up by Erie. Number one, Flab Connor broke like three tackles. Looked like he was smooth sailing down the line and just lost control of the ball. Picked up by Erie's defense. Third turnover of the game. Two interceptions, one fumble. Erie takes over. At the 40 and a half yard line of Erie. Two receivers to the right, two to the left for Erie. Pass right down the line. Caught. And some trash talk going on down there. The rest coming on. Looks like uh, the people on the bench are coming out trash talking from Erie. Pickup of about eight yards on that pass play. Buffalo demanding a flag for the bench coming onto the field. No flag given. I believe the coach got a warning about that. Second down and three, we'll call it two and two for the receivers running back to the left side of the quarterback. And we're going to pitch to the left to the quarterback. 28 has running room enough for the first down. Pick up of about four yards on the play into Buffalo territory. This ref's way off over here. This ref's like four yards down the field over here. <laughs> We're gonna call it at the 48 yard line. First and 10, Erie. 518 left to go in the third quarter. Two receivers on each side of the field. Running back to the left side. Calling for the wide receiver to go in motion. He doesn't go, so passes to him straight down the line. Pickup of about three yards. Pass complete to number eight. Richard Smith. Hurry up. Hurry up offense. Two receivers on the right side stacked behind each other. Two on the left next to each other, passes to the left, caught by number three, and immediately brought down, looked like a fumble. But they called him down by contact, gain of about uh, two or three yards. It's gonna be third and five, pickup of two. Number three, Dale Barney. For Erie, made the catch. Third and five, two and two for the receivers on each side. Running back to the right of the quarterback, right next to him. Back to pass. 
has time, throws a wobbly, lands about five yards short in front of number eight. Brings up fourth down. Looks like the punting team's coming onto the field. We're going to try to pin them deep now. Almost blocked, and looks like it might. Hits about the four, batted back in, but I don't know what the call was. Looked like it was gonna go end zone, and he leaped up and batted into play. I thought it touched the end zone when he batted it, so. That's the first down for the Celtics at about the five. They're gonna call it down at the four and a half yard line. It looked like it hit the end zone when he batted it back, so it should have been a touchback. Ref was right there too, so I don't agree with this call, even though it's uh, in Erie's favor. Well, Buffalo takes over at their four and a half yard line. First down, 332 left to go into the third quarter. Uh, trip receivers to the right, single receiver to the left, tailback to the left side, next to the quarterback. Back to pass, pump fakes, deep ball, overshots everybody. Overshot the receiver by about four yards and the DB by about two. Almost interception if it would have been any shorter. Second down and 10 at the four and a half. Two and two for the receivers, running back to the left side of the quarterback. Back to pass again. Throws a line drive, caught about the 10 and dropped. Pickup of about three and a half, four yards. Brings up third and five and a half. Trip receivers. Well, we got two and two. Running back right next to the quarterback on the right side. Quarterback keeper straight up the middle and immediately hit at the line. No gain. Runs up. Fourth down. They're going to give him uh, about a yard on the play. Looked like he had no gain there. So it's going to be fourth and four. Quarterback stays in there. They're deep in their own territory. They're going for it. This is a tough call, but you're down by 16. You got to try to spark something. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. Running back right next to the quarterback on the right side. Trying to draw him off sides. And a pooch punt by the quarterback. Hits about the 50 yard line, picked up at the 40. Breaks one tackle and goes down. So nice pooch punt. Erie's going to take over at their own 36 yard line. Yeah, that wouldn't have been a good call to go for it on fourth down and deep down there. So, yeah. Thank you, announcer. I said that a minute ago.
two receivers to the left, one to the right. Two tailbacks surrounded the quarterback. Hand off to the second tailback. Has running room, breaks tackles, has still running room. Last guy caught him, otherwise it was clear sailing down to nobody down there. Pick up of about 14 or 15 yards into Buffalo territory at the 48 and a half yard line. And they put it at the 48. <laughs> Single receiver to the left. Doubles to the right. Two running backs. One next to the quarterback, one behind him. And pitch to the running back behind him. And met by the line. Loss of one, maybe. Second down on 11. Two receivers to the left side, single receiver to the right. Tailback to the left, running back behind. Quick pitch, back to pass, sidearms it, caught and dropped at the sticks. Gensadine's pass nearly caught. Ball's incomplete, brings up the down. Intended for receiver chance. Oh, oh, that's a quarterback. <laughs> 18. Terry Jackson, who had a couple touchdowns already, kind of limping off the field right now. It's going to be third down 11. Four seconds left to go into the third quarter. Two and two for the receivers, running back to the right side of the quarterback. Receiver goes in motion from left to right. Trips to the right now. Back to pass. Has time. He's getting uh, harassed. Running, throws it. Out of bounds. Out of the pocket, got rid of it. Rose and brings up fourth down. Fourth down 11, punting team comes onto the field for the Erie Express. End of third quarter. That brings the close to the third quarter with your show. You're listening to WNYmedia.net. I'm Joe Blue, your color commentary. And also your Mexican commentary. <laughs> Coming into the last quarter. Here he is winning 16-0. Erie should be kicking with the uh, wind at their backs. Erie set to kick off, punt, high snap, side kicks it down the middle, bounces at about the 12, taking about the 10, running down the left side, and met by a whole bunch of express players and dropped 
at about the 24-yard line of Buffalo. With a return of about 13 yards, that'll be another first down for the Celtics. About a 19-yard return on that. Now they're spotting it at uh, 25 yards. Right. First and 10, Buffalo. Final quarter. Single receiver to the left side, trips to the right. Running back right next to the quarterback on the right side. Back to pass, pump fakes, down the middle, wobbly pass, caught by <laughs> number three, Jaleel Harris. Big gain on the play, all the way down to the 45 of Buffalo. Twenty-yard pass play. Two receivers to the left, to the right. Running back to the left side of the quarterback. Hand off to the running back, up, straight up the middle. Gain of about five to the midfield. Second down and five. All right, for all you 50-50 fans out there, your winning number is nine nine nine. Seven, nine, eight. Once again, your winning number, nine, nine, nine. Trip receivers seven, to the left, single receiver to the right. Running back on the left side of the quarterback. Straight down the sidelines pass, immediately met by the line. Loss of about three. Back to the 47 yard line of Buffalo. And naturally, the yard marker guy's off again. We're going to call it third and six. It was back further, but they spotted him an extra yard. Trip receivers left, single receiver to right. Running back on the right side, back to pass, has time, shoots a wide open receiver, has running room, Jaleel Harris, number four, enough for the first down, pickup of about 13 yards into Erie territory. Another big gain on the play, that's another first down for the Celtics. At the 30... Your winning Six yard line of Erie. The last three numbers are seven, nine, eight. Please meet our representatives by the fence. Trip the receivers fence. to the right, single receiver to the left. Running back right next to the quarterback on the right side. Back to pass again. Steps up. Caught by number 11. Ricky Winston. Close to the first down, they're going to give it to him. First and ten at the 26 and a half yard line. Looks like Buffalo stepping up the pace a little bit. Trip receivers to the right, single receiver to the left. Running back on the left side of the quarterback. And a whistle blow. It looks like Erie might take their second time out. You're listening to WNYmedia.net. This is Joe Blue live from Erie, Pennsylvania. Saturday, August 1st. The Erie Express are winning 16 2 0 against the South Buffalo Celtics. Final quarter, final regular season game. South Buffalo is undefeated and on the tail end of a losing uh, 
Uh, right now, 16 to nothing. Still plenty of time left. 11.27. Looks like Coach Sam Reynolds wanted to slow down this pace a little bit. Sam, a big guy from uh, indoor football, the Iceman they called him. Now coaching, played for Michigan. Trip receivers to the right, single receiver to the left. Hand off to the running back straight up the middle. Gain of about two yards. Second down and about eight or seven. Trip receivers bunch formation to the left side. Single receiver to the right. Back to pass, quarterback sweeps to the left and sweeps to the right and gets sacked for a huge loss. See where they spot the ball. It looks like at about the uh, 30, 37 yard line. This is going to be third and a mile. Third and about 20. Got uh, two and two receivers running back to the left side of the quarterback. Third and 20, 941 left to go in the game. Drew him off sides. No flag though. Yeah, now we got a flag. Quarterback keeps it and runs forward. We got three flags on the field. No gain on plays, flag on the field. Wait for the official call, but it's going to be offsides. Offsides here, five Offside yards. Against the express. That's a five yard penalty. Repeat third down. It's going to be third and 15 now. A little shorter, not much. You imagine, uh, would imagine that uh, Buffalo will be going for all fourth downs from now on. Two. Double receivers on each side, running back to the right side of the quarterback. Back to pass. Quarterback's got all day. Wide open receiver, enough for the first down. Pass is caught over the middle. That's Number three, Jaleel Harris. Down caught it right the down the middle. Uh, about the 14 yard line of Erie, first and 10. 842 and counting of this fourth quarter. Two receivers on each side. Running back right behind the quarterback and hands off the running back straight up the middle. Still going inside the five yard line. And dropped at about the three. It's going to be first, first and goal. Hurry up offense, same formation, except the running back to the left side of the quarterback, two and two for the wide receivers. Hand off the running back, and he scoots in untouched on the right side of the line for a touchdown. 
And then Buffalo finally scores. Took them four quarters, but they're finally in the end zone. And they're keeping the quarterback out there, so it looks like they're going for two. Which makes sense. Gonna have trip receivers to the right. Single receiver, short side left. Running back on the right side of the quarterback. Receivers in a bunch formation on the right. And quarterback keeps it and runs it to the right and throws a quick pass. In the end zone, two point conversion is good. 7.59 left to go in the game. Erie 16, Buffalo 8. I'd keep an eye on for the onside kick. Sun starting to disappear in the clouds over here. What was once a all sunny field is now all dark. Seven fifty nine left to go in the game. Buffalo trying to march a comeback. Buffalo needs more people out there for the kickoff. They were short three people. Two people, actually. Looks like uh, Erie's prepping for an onside kick. They got the hands team up front. Five people right at the line. And four behind them. I wanted to see that kicker come out again. I like it. It looks like he's kicking in flip-flops. Or Jesus shoes. <laughs> Jesus sandals. <laughs> Comes up to kick. And it's an onside kick and immediately caught by the front guy. Number 28, who's the running back and still on his feet in Buffalo territory. I called that one. Done enough football games to expect what's coming. Erie Express uh, will take over at the 47-yard line of Buffalo. First and 10, 7.52. Left to go in the game, Erie 16, Buffalo 8. Of course, if I kicked in flip-flops too, that's about how far the football would go with me. Two receivers on the right, two on the left, running back to the left side of the quarterback. You imagine the area would do running plays to run out the clock. And I'm sure Buffalo is aware of this. No, he's gonna pass. Whoa, wide open was the receiver. And must have been just tipped. At the last second by number 21, Nick Woodard. Otherwise, that was instant touchdown right there. Receivers a little disgusted for not catching the ball, but it was tipped. Brings up second down and 10. Two and two receivers running back to the left side of the quarterback. Hand off to the running back and gain of maybe one. Jones picked up one yard, brings up third and nine. But the clock is continuing to run there. Unlike the passing play where two seconds went off.
Here he's going to utilize all that time. You got uh, two and two for the receivers. Running back to the left side of the quarterback. 7-11. Not the department store or the, not the grocery store, but the, how much time's remaining. Quarterback being flushed by four guys. And flush out of the pocket and throws it away. Quarterback was getting harassed by the whole line. He's going to bring up fourth down. Buffalo's got a chance to get the ball back here. As the punter for Erie comes onto the field. High punt, right down the middle, fair caught at, what was that? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> if this was hockey, that would be two minutes for diving. Uh, he fair, fair caught it at the 14 yard line. A guy ran by him, didn't touch him. And he fell back on his back and spread out his arms like, like somebody body checked him. I don't know. We'll have to recheck the footage on that one later. <laughs> Your instant replay. It'll be up on YouTube later too. You can check back later and watch what that so-called dive was. First and 10 at their own 14. Quarterback almost trips on his own thing. One-handed catch by number one on the left side. And out of bound, pickup of about three or two or three yards. Number one. Wow, this roster is so small. Flab Connor, is that his name? I don't know. Flab? <laughs> his name is Flab. Maybe Flab Connor. We have to pick nicknames. <laughs> two receivers to the left, two to the right. Second down and eight. Handoff right up the middle. Gain of about two more yards. Man, that guy on that marker on the left side, you cannot go by him because he is... That brings up third down. Nowhere is near where it's supposed to be. Got a player down on the field, number 52. Uh, probably a pulled hamstring. Jake Button. Yeah, because they're stretching it out. Big guy lineman. You listen at WNYmedia.net. Joe Blue, color commentary for tonight's game. 616 left to go into the final quarter of this game. Here he is up 16 2 8 over Buffalo. You're going to help uh, the big guy off the field now. It's like a pulled hammy. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, but I stayed in a Holiday Inn once. Today's game brought to you by Holiday Inn. Express. I'm sure they got those in Buffalo. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. We're running back to the left side of the quarterback. Third down and two or three. High snap, quarterback keeper, and he's got enough for the first down. Picks up about three yards. Quarterback keeper on the play. That's enough for a first down. But that also keeps the clock going. 
still in Buffalo territory at the 28 yard line. 27 yard line. First and 10. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. Running back to the right side of the quarterback. Back to pass. Has time. Throws it. Nobody guarding a receiver over there. Number four. Devontae Shannon. Wide open on the left side. Enough for the first down. That's another first down for the At the 37 yard line of Buffalo. 5.08 left to go in the game. Buffalo slowly marching up the field. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. Running back to the left side of the quarterback. First and ten. Fake handoff. Back to pass. Has a little time. Got hurried. Get rid of it. Receiver wasn't there yet. The line got in the quarterback's face on that one. He had, didn't have time to set up. Fell incomplete. Second down and 10. Trip receivers to the right, single receiver to the left, running back on the right side of the quarterback. Quarterback sweeps to the right, passes, jump and catch by number three. Nobody touched him yet. There we go. At midfield for the first down, Erie player got a stinger in the back of his neck on that play. Once again, I am not a doctor, but I stayed at a holiday. Inn. So, injury timeout. First down and 10 at midfield, right at the 50. 429 left to go in the game. Buffalo keeps getting these first downs. What started at their 14 now is at the 50. Trip receivers to the left, single receiver to the right. Running back on the right side of the quarterback. Ball snap, quick pass, tipped at the line of scrimmage. Ball's incomplete. Brings up second down and 10. As the train heads to Buffalo. In the backfield. 4-11 left to go in the game. Got trip receivers to the left, single receiver to the right, running back on the left side of the quarterback. Second down and 10. Oh, not sure if this is uh, encouragement. Uh, looks like the Erie player come in and tackled the center before the ball was even snapped. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be an encroachment on Erie. Offside. So that's going to be an extra five yards for Buffalo. Brings up second down of five inside Erie territory at the 45 yard line. Two and two for the receivers running back to the left side of the quarterback. Hand off to the running back. Stutter steps. Has little room, enough for the first down at about the 37 yard line. Pickup of about seven or eight yards. Four 
First and 10, another first down for the Buffalo team. Trip receivers again to the left, running back to the left side and single receiver to the right. Fake handoff, pass, tipped and incomplete. Tipped by number 36 for Erie. Who is not on my list. So we're gonna say stretch Armstrong because he stretched out far enough to tip the ball away. Second down and 10 from the 37 of Erie. 324 left to go in the game. Buffalo is down by eight. Trip receivers to the left, single receiver to the right, running back on the right side of the quarterback this time. Back to pass, deep ball, left side, tip and intercepted by Erie. Number 21 and running it back and slides down. He won, Dewan Water tipped the pass up in the air and then caught his own tip pass. And runs it back about 15, 20 yards before sliding. He didn't want to lose the ball. 3.11 left to go in the game. The fourth turnover for Buffalo. Three interceptions, one fumble. Erie takes over at their own 27-yard line. I would imagine it's going to be a running game from here out. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. Single running back to the left side of the quarterback. Now the receiver comes in motion to the left. And handoff. And right into the line. And no game. And looks like Buffalo is going to take a timeout. At 2.59. I believe that is their first timeout of the half. Little game. That brings up seven down. Yes, it is your first time out. That's why he wasn't there. You're listening to WNYmedia.net. This will be up on YouTube later. For those that couldn't listen live. Buffalo has two timeouts remaining. Erie has one. Erie is winning 16 to 8. With 3.05 left to go in the game. <laughs> Buffalo happens to be undefeated at this moment. Yes. One receiver to the right. Oh, they're switching receivers. Two receivers to the right, two to the left, running back to the left side of the quarterback. Second down and 10. Receiver goes in motion behind the quarterback, hand off to him, cuts back, cuts back this way. Stiff arms, stiff arms. Cuts back to the right and falls down. Gain of two. He ran 15 yards side to side for a net gain of two yards. And we got a player injured from Buffalo. Down on the sidelines as he's being attended to by medics. So injury timeout with 2.53 left to go in the game. As two CSX engines go racing down all by themselves down the tracks. <laughs> Haven't seen that in a long time. Just like two, two engines just, I'm going, I'm leaving. Maybe somebody stole it. I'm going to Ohio. They can't catch me. 
Oh, uh, we know where you're at. You're on the tracks. You can only go one way. Yeah. Oh, they're speeding because there's another train coming. <laughs> That'd be funny. They're in town too. They were going pretty fast for going in town. Yeah. The great train robbery of Erie in 015, 2015. So it's, when we get back here, it's going to be second down and eight. 2.53 left to go in the game. Downtown Herman Brown running water out to the refs. Third down. Third down and eight. Here he breaks the huddle. We got two and two for wide receivers. Running back to the left side of the quarterback. The right side of the quarterback, sorry. Big play here. Hand off to the running back, straight up the middle, immediately met and dropped. Gain of about three yards. It's going to be fourth and three. Punting team comes on to the field. Think they're going to rush the punt? Did somebody call a timeout? Nobody. I'm guessing Buffalo called a timeout because they're out of timeouts. There was no whistle or anything, so that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a Buffalo timeout. I'm going to call it a Buffalo timeout. Even though no official word was given, it is a Buffalo timeout. Buffalo out of timeouts. 2.46 left to go in the game. Erie set the punt. Only two guys back to receive the punt, so my guess is they're going to maybe rush the punter here from the right side. Oh, it might be a false start. We got a flag on the play. Erie uh, right side on the line start running before the ball was snapped. Uh, I think the coach for Buffalo is trying to say, we'll take that kick right there. You can't do that. You can't do that. No, we want the ball right there. He kicked it there, even though he was off sides because it was in the air, so the ref marked where it went out. You can't do that. I have, never, I have never heard of that. Isn't it a dead ball? It would be a dead ball yeah. foul. They blew the whistle. And threw flags. And threw flags. Once again, you can come back to YouTube and rewatch this fiasco. After after the whistle was blown, nobody ran for the ball. Nobody ran. It, they even stopped after he ran off sides. False start. And they're going to give it to him. I have never, ever, ever, ever seen that call 
in football ever. This is a first. What they did to rekit. You if it's a false start penalty, it's a re redo that down. You can't call. He didn't even have to kick the ball. You can't you can't call that. This that's a dead ball foul. Should be five yards back up, re kick. You cannot say, yeah, I'll take the ball right here. Because he didn't even have to kick it because uh Can you decline rest, that? You can't decline that, right? You can't. He, he blew the whistle. It's like I said, I have never seen this call before in my life. Uh, Buffalo's taken over at their own 48-yard line. Trip receivers to the right, single receiver to the left, back to pass, fake pump, pump. Quarterback keeper, and we're not going to call it sack because he got it back to the line of scrimmage. Everyone was well covered on the right side. Smooth with the tackle. Dewan Smith, way up offense. Trip receivers bunched up to the right, single receiver to the left. Back to pass, has time, throws it down the middle, caught by number 11, still on his feet and dropped. Enough for the first down in Erie territory. Buffalo going into a hurry up offense, but uh, two minute warning. After a gain of about 15 yards, that's another first down for the Celtics. Number 11 for Buffalo, Ricky Winston. Well, that brings us to the two minute warning with your score, the Erie Express 16. So when the we come Buffalo back from this two minute warning, <laughs> Buffalo has it in the Erie territory at the 46 yard line, first and 10. Being down by eight points, but I still can't get over that kickoff or that, that punt thing. I have never in professional football, even non-professional football, seen something like that where that call went that way. If it's a false start, it's a re-kick. He blew the whistle, the, the punter didn't have to kick the ball. So what would happen if he didn't kick the ball? It would have been a do-over, or would they have the ball right there where he caught the ball ready for the kick? Single receiver to the left, trip receivers to the right. Running back to the left side of the quarterback. First and 10 at Erie's 46-yard line. Back to pass. Cut and dropped. On the sidelines, it's going to bring up third down to 10. Or second down to 10, sorry. Even if you stayed at a Holiday Inn Express, you could explain that kickoff call. Trip receivers bunched to the left side, single receiver to the right. Running back to the left side of the quarterback. Crunch time. High snap, quarterback rolls to the left. Passes deep down the field. Intercepted again. Accepted by number zero, Ashton Jones. So that's four picks on a day and one fumble. Erie Express takes over at their own 11 yard line with a minute 49 left to go in the game. Five turnovers for Buffalo in tonight's game. Four coming by picks, one by a fumble.
Now I know for a fact it's going to be a running play. <laughs> They're going to try to get the clock down. Buffalo's out of timeout. And the fans go wild in the stands. Single receiver to the left. Whole bunch of running backs surrounded by the quarterback. Which one's getting the ball? Eeny, meeny, miny. I'm going to say the guy in the back. And I am correct. Straight up the middle. Running room. Breaks free. Daylight. All the way. All the way down the field. 90 yard scamper. 89 yard scamper for a touchdown. Straight up the middle. And excessive celebration flag comes out. He ran right through the middle. Everybody was bunched up there and he saw daylight and just outran everybody. That might do it. There's a flag on the field. Flag should be at, uh, for the kickoff. Well, who knows with this with this one? They might do it now and the kickoff, or might just give, give, <laughs> give them the ball at the two yard line uh, instead of kicking off. Erie doesn't have enough people out on the field yet. The holder, that's the most important player next to the kicker out there, and the holder didn't come out. They got to be low on time for a delay of game. And the ball is up. And good. So with a minute 36 left to go in the game, Erie Express 23, South Buffalo Celtics 8. You're listening to WNYmedia.net. I, of course, am Joe Blue. Looks like uh, South Buffalo Celtics are going to suffer their first loss of the season here in Erie. On this last regular season game heading into playoffs. Ariel will be kicking off with the wind at their backs again. Slightly toned down a little bit now. If you go by the flags on the flag uh, on the goalpost, there's nothing there, but you look at the uh, American flag and everything in the background. It's actually blowing north to south if you look at those flags. So, because of the excessive celebration penalty, uh, the ball is at the 25-yard line. 10-yard penalty from that. High kick down the middle. Caught at about the 23-yard line. Over to 30. And he trips up. Trips up trying to cut back. At about the 37. After a third of about 10 yards, that'll be first and 10 from the 37 yard line for the Celtics. About a 14 yard return, not 10 yards according to the PA announcer. Minute 29 left to go in the game. They need some deep balls here. 
They need to score quick. If any chance. You got two receivers to the left, to the right, running back to the left side of the quarterback. Back to pass, has a little bit of time. Throws down the middle, caught in between three defenders into Erie territory at the 45 yard line. But Buffalo doesn't have any timeouts, so they gotta hurry up to the line. Same formation. First down and 10, they don't even have the stick set yet. Back to pass again, down to the right side. And does he get out of bounds? They're gonna let him go out of bounds. Caught for about a eight, nine yard gain, nine yard gain. Gonna be second down and one. 59 seconds left to go in the game. Buffalo marching down the field as quick as possible. No timeouts, using the sidelines. Two receivers to the left, two to the right, running back to the left side of the quarterback. And the rest want to have a discussion. Now they're going to give him the first down. So that was a 10-yard pickup. First and 10 at the 35 of Erie. 59 seconds, two receivers to the left, two to the right, running back on the left side of the quarterback. Definitely a passing play. High snap, back to pass, throws down the middle, and the ref was in the way, had to duck, and the wide receiver didn't catch the ball. Five seconds went off the clock on that play. Second down and 10. Incomplete pass, stops the clock. You would think they would call more than one play in the huddle too so they could do the hurry up offense. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. Running back to the right. Back to pass, has a little bit of time. Passes it to running back, right up and down the line. Runs out of bound, pick up of about five or six yards. Carries Looks like five yards. Third down. third down and five at the 30-yard line. 47 seconds left to go in the game. You got trip receivers to the left. Bunched up right off the line. One receiver to the right, running back next to the quarterback on the left side. And we're going to get probably a delay game. Oh no, we got a timeout, Erie. Erie's final timeout, 46 seconds left to go in the game. Erie is winning 23 to 8 over Buffalo. If you didn't listen or are listening live, this will be up on YouTube later. You can watch the dive. You can watch the kick that never happened that did happen. Return to football, trips to the left, single receiver to the right, running back on the right side of the quarterback. 47 seconds, third and five. Ball snap, back to pass. Quarterback looking, throws across the middle, wide open. Wanted to head for the sidelines within the 10 yard line, but they gotta hurry up to the line and spike the ball or something. It's gonna be first and goal. Time's running, 30 seconds. The ball isn't even set down yet. Got late acquisitions out here. Ball is spiked with 20 seconds to go in the game. 
Buffalo is at the nine yard line, first and goal. Now second and goal from the spike. <laughs> They're sending him off the field. No, I want to stay out here. I'm taking my ball and going. Now he takes off his helmet on the field. That should be a penalty. I'm sure he's a, a tough guy. But yeah, that should be a penalty right tough. there. You're not allowed to take off your helmet. Trips to the right, single receiver to trips to the left, single receiver to the right. Back to pass, quarterback sweeps to the left. Looking for somebody. Somebody almost picked off. Twice. <laughs> Twice. Batted from the one DB to the other DB and onto the ground. That brings up third down. Six seconds went off the clock. There are 14 seconds left to go in the game. Number one is still mad on the sidelines. He's just, he wants to throw his helmet at somebody. Third and goal from the nine. One receiver to the left, trips, bunched up at the end of the line to the right, running back to the right side of the quarterback. Quarterback sweeps to the right, looks for somebody, somebody throws end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo with eight seconds left. Pass is caught in the end zone for a touchdown for the Celtics. A little bit late. But we get to see flip-flop kicker. So Buffalo's coming on for the extra point attempt. Flip-flopper. Number one is back out on the field. High snap, but gets it down in time for the extra point. Eight seconds left, Erie Express 23, South Buffalo Celtics 15. Ah, the only thing you can do is onside kick. That's the only thing left in the arsenal here for Buffalo. They have to successfully get the onside kick and hopefully get a Hail Mary. That's the only chance. But it's like an open book. Erie Express knows what's coming. There's no other thing you can do. You can't kick off to them, game's over. So definitely the hands team is out there. It's just where is the ball getting kicked to? Ball must travel 10 yards before you can get it. And everybody's bunched up on the left side of the field. So I'm guessing it's gonna go left. Oh, they're taking some of the big guys off and putting uh, speedsters out there. Which makes sense. Now they're going to slide four to the right. Onside kick coming. I bet you they might kick it to the right because there's only two guys over here. That's what I would do. There's only two guys here. I'd, I'd kick it to the right. And they don't. They kick it to the left. And successfully caught by Erie Express. 
So one kneel down is going to be the game. I want to thank WNYmedia.net for webcasting tonight's game and putting it up on YouTube later for the opportunity to come out of retirement and color commentate football again. Had fun. Saw some new stuff. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're just going to call the game. They're not even going to drop, set it up to dip. They, they just called the game. Once again, thanks for listening and watching. WNYmedia.net. I'm Joe Blue, the final score, Erie Express 23, South Buffalo Celtics 15. That makes the record. Erie Express 10 and 1, and South Buffalo Celtics 7 and 1, their first loss of the season. Up next, playoffs. Thanks again. Peace out. Uh, when's the last time Buffalo lost? This is the first time they lost, more than this. Since when? This is the first time. Yeah. Oh, when? I don't yeah. know. Because last off? year.